Say hello to the internet family, boob. <laughs> How long has it been since I vlogged with you, little one? Huh? Oh, you fl his ear flicked me in the nose. This is perhaps the most unglamorous I've ever looked in a vlog, but hey. I have footage that I really want to share with you guys and I didn't film an intro. So a few days ago, I was invited to the opening of Privet Drive on the Harry Potter tour in London. And I got a plus one, so I took my brother along, so flew him over from Dublin and it was so epic. We had such a good time. I know a lot of you are huge Harry Potter fans like I am. Me and my brother literally used to queue up at midnight for the book launches. Never mind our messy bookshelves, but like say for example this one. I read this when I was 11 years old in the hospital and it's so old that it even has like letters from fans in the back. Like that's how like unknown Harry Potter was back then. See, I had to just take Andrew along because it was such a big part of our childhood. This is like a dream come true for me. Anyway, let the Harry Potter tour commence. They gave us free food, and by that it's like parsnip crisps. They don't taste like vegetables at all. So look who I just ran into. This is Cherry Wallace. We never met ever in real life. No. Nope. <sighs> I've been here three times. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You're excited. Very excited. So we're about to watch a movie thing at the start of the tour, and we're not allowed to film it, but I'm like shaking. I am excited. Are you excited? I'm just not showing it. <laughs> Already, <laughs> Cherry, I'm crying already. Hey, Harry, what about you today? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> oh, Cherry. Welcome home. Oh my God. Now this is the great. Oh. You're the most obsessed speaking instructor for the films, and as you can probably tell, the largest. Ready for filming? So please do feel free to leave your earphones and take your little session light. That's it, you can have a little She's gonna make me cry in a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Like. Uh, it's so big. <laughs> oh. Look at this. Wow. 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 Filch, Hagrid, Snape, my favourite, Dumbledore, McGonagall, Mad-Eye Moody, and Trelawney, and Flitwick. Oh my goodness! I can feel my face when I'm with you, and I love it, and I love it! It's the actual sorting hat. Oh, I have chills. in candles. Don't know why I'm doing Oh, Hermione's oh. dress, Andy! Oh, Hermione's pretty dress when she was pretty. And then... Crom. <laughs> What's the thing Crom says, Andy, in the movie? <laughs> this tent is a place for champions and, and friends. friends. <laughs> wow, so gorgeous. Guys, they have tons of the props here from different movies. And look at the wigs. Look at the wigs. That's so weird. Harry Potter had a wig. I didn't know that. Oh. Also, do you want to see something fun that you may not know? I do. I don't know if they have them out. Yeah. So in the <gasps> other term, they've got scars. So they were each individually laid on as a prosthetic rather than... Oh my god! Hello! Amazing, huh? Also, fun fact about the costumes down there. The Voldemort ones. <laughs> I love that you're using me as a tool. I know, yeah. The Voldemort costumes oh. change from colour, so... I think it's when he gets more powerful. It gets more it gets darker? darker, more darker, or, lighter? or dark. It might be lighter, Ooh. but yeah, the costume changes. Same with Umbridge, actually. Wow. The more power that Umbridge gets, the pinker her costume gets. Oh wow, Flora's dress. I remember I had fantasies of being Fleur in the movie. Yeah, I didn't have blonde hair and I definitely didn't look like a Vila, but I had these dreams that like I might get cast in one of the movies. Look, they've got the Dursley costumes. It was as if I was stepping into the pages of the book. 
especially for a young boy, it was truly magical. And now that you're here, walking onto the same sets we've used for all these years, I hope that you too can feel a little bit of that magic. Yeah, right. Oh, the cauldron. Wow, it's massive. I didn't expect it to be that big. Everything is so realistic. And I'm going to take this over here. Look at my pointy little shoesies. Um, here is the Gryffindor boys dormitory. Wowza. Ooh, the beds. Oh, the beds. I want a four poster bed so much. Like, I would happily sleep in that for the rest of my life. Cherry wants to buy one of every wand. I only have the elder wand, which is this one. You have six wands? After today, I'll have six wands. Oh. They all have a story, so if you ask the people <gasps> in the shop. Oh, nice. So, like, Hermione's is a vine, which represents her thirst for knowledge. This is Dan, and he's been here five times. And, oh, uh, damn it. So, Sirius's, if you look at the front of Sirius's there, that inscription says just about humans. Oh. And that inscription there is representative of the fact that you have spent time in uh, that place, Azkaban. And so oh. find Bellatrix is one that also has that. Look, it's the mirror, but like it's not showing me what I want. I'm in it. It's not <laughs> working. Oh, you're, you're in it. That's fine. And Sun is in it. Look who I found. I love Hello. this lady. She's like one of my favorite booktubers on YouTube. It's like the perfect place as well. It is because like all it's joined together all of the Harry Potter fans. I didn't know you had that. I know. Yeah, check this out. I have a video about this, guys, if you haven't seen it. Um, I'm going to explain to her now, but you can go and watch that video. Fat lady looking well. Working that dress, love. Random little snitch up there just for shits and giggles. We're home, we're home, it's Gryffindor common room, we're home, yes, look at the pretty, it looks so soft, mm. I really want to sit in a cosy chair right now, little jumpers, oh wow, it looks really comfortable in it, look at the little stairway, oh my goodness, this is so magical. Yeah, I approve of that. I do. Oh, I saw this. Remember, guys, my playlist vlog, and I was in Hogwarts. Get it though, Griffin, oh. and it's a door like Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Gryffindor uh. So this is Dumbledore's office, and there's the paintings of all of the old headmasters on the walls, and like it's so realistic. Like this genuinely feels like we're here. Here's all the memories for the pen's eve. Ooh, little vials. Little vials. vials I love the word memories. file. <laughs> I wish we could do that in real life. Imagine how amazing that would be to be able to like put your memory in a little bowl and live it again. That would be my favorite in thing. Bowl. In a little bowl. <laughs> little bowl. That's what the pen's is called now. Yeah. Not, not a pen's little bowl. Oh my god. Isn't it beautiful? The Triwizard Cup, guys. Look at the egg. I would like to drink my wine from this, please. So they have the potions classroom set. And oh my goodness, look. It's stirring itself. Snape can't feel his face when he's with me. And he stirs all the things without actually stirring them. Because he's magic. He is magic. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just very happy. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> I can't speak parcel tongue, Andrew. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, I keep running away when it keeps moving again. Oh, wow. <laughs> My brother and I used to play a computer game of Harry Potter when we were really little kids and there was one part in it that was so difficult where you're on one of these machines going through Gringotts. This is all of the vehicles. So we've Hagrid's bike and we have a broomstick. My brother's wandering through Harry Potter land and I can't sing a word cause my voice is gone again. If I could go in anywhere I wish I could go in here cause I just, I always had an affinity for Hagrid's little hut and I just thought it seemed really cozy. Like look imagine just sitting down there with Hagrid having a cup of tea and a chat. Vomiting up a few slugs. The burrow which is where I want to live but it's not a real house. Cheery owls. I want cheery owls. Cherry. Yeah, have a I want is this on today? There you go, washing the pans. Washing the pans. Ooh, you're magic. Give me your hand. Mm. 
Chopping carrots. Chopping the, oh, that's all I have to do. Like, I've learned a new skill today. Guys, look, it's the real special effects people from Harry Potter, and they're gonna show us how the letters come out of the box. <gasps> Why does Uncle Vernon just keep them from me? Me and Terry are just going to demonstrate how good we are at being Gryffindors and making magic. We're just doing this for your benefit, so like, you know, enjoy it. <laughs> Stop beneath bent, body nice and straight, with the arm above the head, the Hi, green Dad. curve, the side across, and your left arm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's really scary and creepy. Look at the fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cool skull and he knows it. Whip your hair back and forth. I think this is where Harry ends when he goes, Die again, Ellie. You silly bastard, you. This is the tapestry from Order of the Phoenix. And the story is that, isn't it Sirius's parents would burn off family members? Yes. Yes. So Sirius went to Azkaban and he's no longer part of the family. See you, Dementor. You don't scare me. Look how teeny you are. You're so teeny. They're the Ministry of Magic Walls. They're just as green as I thought they would be in real life. So cool. Umbridge's kitties and Umbridge's little fluffy pink dresses. It's Mel's first time and on the train. She's not ready. Right, you ready? Um, Take a breather. Take a breather. See, I don't want to cry again because they just keep ruining my face. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing! <laughs> you can't even appreciate this right now. Because guys, like I told you, it's all week I've been staying right next to King's Cross Station and the reason I picked the hotel is literally, well firstly because it's called Princess Hotel, but secondly because it was right beside King's Cross and this feels like, you know, it's like the same vibe as being in the station. Oh, cherry! We're just stopping for a bit of wine and a bit of food before they open Privet Drive. They have butterbeer here too, guys. And food. What? There's a red carpet? Oh, there is one. They have a red carpet. Oh, this is so fancy. Bye, Gary. Hello. Gary. We, we lost you. We ran around, so we got nice pictures with nobody in the whole place. I got some of the butterbeer ice cream to try. Is it good? Did you try it's it yet? Amazing. <laughs> is it really? Okay. They're warning me off the dairy because they know I can't have it. <laughs> You're lactose intolerant. Okay. Can't, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant, but it's not been you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Free cup. <laughs> Only available now for £6.99 and a kidney. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't had ice cream for like years. She's getting so angry. <laughs> They literally have a red carpet for us guys, like this is a proper first time. Look at the little spotlights, oh! I'm glad you can join us tonight for this exclusive number 4 Privet Drive preview. To officially open the front door to number 4 Privet Drive, please join me in welcoming the actress who brought the character a Petunia Dursley to life, Fiona Shaw! number four Pivot Drive. It hasn't been open to the public in all these years. Uh, it's a long time since I saw it um, and it's marvelous that it's here. change onto my camera on my phone guys. I can't believe that it's a house party at number four Privet Drive like <laughs> a lot of people waiting in the queue for the drinks. <laughs> I know it's beautiful. <laughs> How that looks trippy. That is wow. Insane. Oh look at the pile, I wanna clean it. So this is the bridge um that like Harry and Lupin walk across and stuff, but like look how cool it is, like look at the green. Oh Andrew, look at the cat. Look, these are the models of, you know, remember when like Hermione was in the water, dead and stuff, like the dead bodies. This is creepy. R.I.P. little guy. Look how beautiful that is. And that. And those. Oh. I've worked their socks off for 10 years to make fantastic work. 
I didn't know that they'd have this whole section of Diagon Alley. Oh my god. And bring Gott's Bank. Wow. And I just cried again. Andy! <laughs> this is my favourite part of the tour right Yeah. Here. This is the best. Oh my goodness. This is obviously the model of Hogwarts that they did use in the films. Oh wow. I'm just looking at it right now and like the detail on that is incredible. Like I wish you guys were here because I can't pick it up as magical as it is. Um, because this is all to scale on the films, it just looks so realistic and real, but like, this is my hand. And that's the Great Hall. We're just in the shop afterwards and you can actually like buy all of the ones. But look, they have everything that you could ever dream of wanting in here. It's so ridiculous. I'm so glad that I didn't bring money with me because I would just leave it with broomsticks, which I don't need, and with cups that I don't need. And, well, I ring my brother. <laughs> oh. We're on the front of the bus home and we got goodie bags. What's in it? Chocolate frogs? Chocolate frogs. Chocolate frogs. Mm -hmm. Gave us free socks. Oh, nice. <laughs> yep. Free socks. There was literally no outro either, so that's basically the end of that vlog. And I'm gonna go wash this off now because it's gone all hard and sticky. But thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up for more vlogs and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!